Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is vertical and horizontal lines. First, let's take a look at a few real life examples where you can observe horizontal and vertical lines. As you can see, I have a window in front of me and the bars that separate the two glasses are vertical as well as horizontal. Right? In a similar manner, you can observe many more real life examples as you can see this electric light pole the poles are vertical right similarly you can observe this bridge where the bridge is a horizontal one and these vertical pillars are also supporting the bridge now we'll take a look at how to find the equations of these horizontal and vertical lines first you can observe that this is a horizontal line which is parallel to the x axis. We will see two ways in which we can find the equations. The first one is quite logical. We can observe that this is a horizontal straight line which passes through y is equal to 4. Now for this straight line all the points have a y coordinate of 4. Correct? And hence, I will say that the equation of this line is y is equal to 4. Another way is using the slope intercept form of line, which is y is equal to mx plus c. You may also watch a video related to the same. In this case, the gradient of this horizontal line is 0. Correct? Hence, I can write that m is equal to 0. Next, we can see that this line passes through the point 0, 4. Right? And hence, the y-intercept of this line is equal to 4. By substituting these two values in the standard form of equation of line, we get y is equal to 0 times x plus 4 which is y is equal to 4 and hence you can observe that logically as well as methodically we get the same equation for this straight line. Hence we can create a thumb rule that for any horizontal line which is parallel to x axis the equation is given by y is equal to k where k is any constant. Next, let's figure out the equation of a vertical line which is parallel to y axis. You can observe that this is a vertical line which is parallel to y axis. Now, this vertical line passes through the point x is equal to minus 3. On this line, all the points have x coordinate of minus 3 and hence Logically, I can say that the equation of this line is given by x is equal to minus 3. And again, we can create a thumb rule that for any vertical line which is parallel to the y-axis, the equation is given by x is equal to k, where k is any constant. It's time for some practice. Find the equation of the lines from the given graph. First, you can see that this blue line is a vertical line parallel to y axis. We can see that the blue line passes through x is equal to 3. And we know that for any vertical line, the equation of straight line is x is equal to k. And hence, for this vertical line, the equation is x is equal to 3. Correct? Let's move to the red line. You can observe that the red line is parallel to the x axis and it is a horizontal line which passes through y is equal to minus 6. Now, for any horizontal line, the equation of straight line is given by y is equal to k. And hence, for this horizontal line which passes through 
y is equal to minus 6, the equation is y is equal to minus 6. Isn't that simple? Let's move further. Now, find the equation of a line parallel to x-axis and passing through 2, 3. First, let's find out the point 2, 3. So, this is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. This is the point 2, 3. We have to find the equation of line parallel to x-axis. Now, parallel to x-axis means the line is a horizontal one, right? So, we will draw a horizontal line passing through this point that is 2, 3, correct? Now, this horizontal line intersects the y-axis at 0, 3. For any horizontal line, the equation is given by y is equal to k and hence, for this horizontal line parallel to x-axis, the equation is y is equal to 3. Find the equation of a line parallel to y-axis and passing through minus 4, 5. So, in this case, the line is parallel to y-axis, which means it is a vertical line, right? And it passes through minus 4, 5. For any vertical line, the equation of straight line is given by x is equal to k. Now, since this line passes through the point minus 4, 5, the x coordinate of this point is minus 4. And hence, the equation of this vertical line is x is equal to minus 4. That's it for today. And if you like this video, Please share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for regular updates about educational videos. Stay tuned.